Hey, good morning. I just want to let you know that um, when the pandemic started, Ann and I started doing the chair side chat. This is something we've done uh, just to kind of get a devotional out there, especially when we were disconnected and church was shut down. But we've continued on because there are many of you who watch this as a daily devotional on a regular basis. Um, you know, we try to get these up and try to get these posted. I say we very loosely. I actually have nothing to do with that because I don't even have a Facebook page. So Ann does this. Um, and I just want to encourage you, if you notice that something hasn't gotten posted, it could be that there was a problem with the uploading process. Occasionally it's an oversight and we just don't get it posted. But please feel free to reach out. Now, it came to my attention yesterday that there have been several that haven't posted well in the last week. And we didn't know that. I mean, once she posts these, we kind of go on with our day. We don't go back and look. Um, so if you see where something hasn't gotten posted on Facebook or then transferred to the YouTube channel that we have, just send a message, call the church office, text Ann, text me. It's okay. We, we want you to do that. We do this every day. So if there's something that hasn't been, hasn't shown up for that day, it's, it's some problem in uploading or it's an oversight on our part. And we want to make sure we correct that. So you're not going to hurt our feelings. Just let us know that it hasn't gotten posted and we'll make sure that something gets up. So today I'm going to read from Second Chronicles 7.14. This is out of our one-year Bible reading for today. Uh, July 22nd um, says, Then if my people who are called by my name will humble themselves and pray and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways, I will hear from heaven and will forgive their sins and restore, heal their land. You know, this is such a wonderful promise from the Lord to his people, Israel. Now, we tend to read this as applying to all of us, to all the Lord's people, Christians, and rightfully so, but this was originally given as a promise to Israel. What is often overlooked is that this promise is actually an answer to a prayer request for Solomon. Solomon asked the Lord to do this. Back in verse 12, the Lord said, I have heard your prayer and have chosen this temple as the place for making sacrifices. The Lord heard Solomon's prayer. But what exactly did he pray? Well, that's found back in chapter 6 at the prayer uh, for the temple dedication that's recorded there in Second Chronicles chapter 6. It begins in verse 12 and continues all the way through the end of the chapter down through verse 40. Um, it culminates in verses 38 through 40, where Solomon is praying and says, If they turn to you with their whole heart and soul in the land of their captivity and pray toward the land you gave to their ancestors, toward this city you have chosen and toward this temple I have built to honor your name, then, Lord, please hear their prayers and their petitions from heaven where you live and uphold their cause. Forgive your people who have sinned against you. Oh, my God, may your eyes be open and your ears attentive to all the prayers made to you in this place. In response to this prayer of Solomon, the Lord gave the promised blessing that we find there in Second Chronicles 7, 14, and in the few verses that follow. And the promised curses of verses 19 through 22, where he said, but if you or your descendants abandon me and disobey the decrees and commands I have given you, and if you serve and worship other gods, then I will uproot the people from this land that I have given them. I will reject this temple that I have made holy to honor my name. I will make it an object of mockery and ridicule among the nations. Now, the Lord states his intention to bless those who choose repentant obedience 
and his intention to curse those, to stand against those who choose to willfully disregard his commands. Which leads to this question. Which will we choose to receive from the Lord? It will be one or the other. His blessing or his judgment. Which will you choose? Pray with me. Lord, for each of us, you've extended the invitation to receive your blessings or face your judgment. I pray that you would remind us that this day you've extended your invitation. I must choose whether to walk with you in repentant obedience or refuse in willful disregard for your word. Help me to choose your blessings, not your curse. In Jesus' name, amen. Okay, friends, I hope you have a great day. If this doesn't get uploaded, it's okay. Text us. Let us know. We'll make sure we get it fixed. God bless you. Take care.